Hey everyone, Craig is still here in Brisbane visiting me for the week. He's heading home later today. It's my we, last day here. Last day. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to record another editing toolbox video together. Yes, today we are going to look at something that we offer in our membership every now and again on our live calls. We call it the three slider challenge. So I'm Charlotte Reeves from Unleashed Education and, and I'm Craig Turner Bullock also from Unleashed <laughs> Education. So in these editing toolbox videos we like to share one quick tip, trick or technique to help make your pet photography editing life easier. This time we're doing something a little bit different. We call it the three slider challenge and what's it all about Craig? Well we do these occasionally in our membership and I think it's just a really fun exercise that really helps to show you the the power of basic editing in Lightroom. So we've got several images here from me and Charlotte. We're going to be editing each other's images using three sliders only. Yep, that's um, the rules. The aim of the game really isn't to get a complete finished edit, but as close to as accurate as we can possibly get without actually doing a lot more work. So, yeah. so the three sliders we choose have the most impact. Impact, on yes, the image. that's a good word. So all of these are raw files. They're completely raw, straight out of the camera. And we've got three each. Let's get started. Yeah, okay, let's do it. I'm first. All right, so I'm going to start with this one. This is one of Craig's images uh, taken at Bob's Cove in New Zealand, one of yes, our favorite spots. I love swimming here. Yes. In the freezing cold water. <laughs> it's a great place <laughs> for swimming and for dogs having fun. So this dog here is, I wouldn't say the whole image is underexposed. The dog is quite dark. It had to be done that way, I guess, to get all this detail in that yeah, much lighter. Yeah, I didn't want to lose the sky detail. Yep. Yeah, so it's got a lot of contrast in this image. So first thing I want to do is try and get some light back into the dog. So I'm going to use the shadow slider for this and I'm going to bring it up quite a long way. Now when I do that I really notice that the white balance is off. I definitely think it needs to be warmer. I don't have anything neutral I can click on the, in the image to use the white balance selector so I'm going to have to just pick a temperature or tint. I think temperature is going to make the biggest difference and I think if I just warm it up Ooh, round about thinking round about here. Now it does look a bit green now so I'd really love to use that tint slider but I've only got one slider left so I have to decide whether I want to use the tint slider to correct the green or whether I use another slider. So it's either okay it's either the blacks because since I've taken the shadows up so much it's made the black dog look kind of gray so I can either bring the black slider down or I can fix the tint. I'm undecided. Mm. Mm. It's I, not the four slider challenge though. No, it's just, it's the three <laughs> slider challenge. I can only use three sliders. So I've got to work out where, which one's going to have the most impact. I think I'm going to go with blacks because I can see a gap at the bottom of the histogram here, which yeah. means that the blacks aren't as black as they could be. So I'm going to go with the black slider. I'd go with the blacks too. Yeah. And yeah. see how that's brought a lot more contrast back into the blacks. I'm going to stick with that. It's still a little bit green. Okay. Good. But I'm going to stick with that. Okay. So this so is so obviously is the, if we were doing more than three sliders, you would correct the tint. Yep. Anything else? Yep. I'll take the highlights down to try and get the background under control a little bit. Yep. Yeah. There's various other things, a bit of masking cool. and things like that. So this is before, and this is after. So yep. that's the change with just three, three sliders. sliders. Yeah. It just shows you the power that you have in yep. RAW and in Lightroom. Really. Yeah. We're having a look at this now. And I know this is going to kill you because the horizon is yeah, crooked. Yeah, this is. Like, so I'm going to just do this right now. This doesn't count, okay? It doesn't count. I it think it does. Count. It doesn't count. It's not a slider, but it's still no, an adjustment. No, it's not a slider. It doesn't count. I'm doing this. Oh, God. I think Craig just changed the rules, but anyway. No, it's not. It's okay, just, all right. It's fine. Don't okay. worry. So I think for me on this one, I'm just tossing up whether I want to lift the exposure overall or bring the shadows up because I want some more light here. Mm. Let's have a look. Well, shadows or blacks. So shadows is going to probably give me the most, I think. Yeah. Let's go with lifting the shadows and I'm going to take yeah. those up quite a way as well. Definitely a lot more detail in the face yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. Now I feel that this is a twilight shot 
and it's a little bit on the blue side so again I definitely want to add some warmth into this so I will take oh, the yes. temperature up that's made a big difference the dog looks properly colored now yeah and actually I think my third slider mm -hmm. I might possibly bring the highlights down if I was doing a full edit on this but I love all these splashes mm. and I think we've got lots of texture here so I'm actually going to go with Ooh. texture clarity or dehaze which one is going to do what I want it to do the most mm. I think clarity I think is the clarity. one I'm going to go for yeah so I'm going to bring up the clarity let's take it we don't want to go Not too that far. we don't want to go no. crazy we want to just bring it up in into a bit more sharpness maybe there yeah wow and then i can readjust this slider because it's the same one and i'll just add a bit more warmth back in so i think sometimes when you use these present sliders they do mess with they the do mess with the white balance a yeah. bit don't they and the yeah. tones in the image so you might need to go back and correct them when you use them but yeah i think okay let's do a before and after. that's your before that's, that's your good. after and I think you know, that probably is pretty close to a it final is. edit, really. Yeah, so that's, that's three sliders and a crop. Yeah, and a crop. <laughs> Sorry, I'll reset it, okay. <laughs> you can't edit an image unless I it's can't, straight. I can't get past wonky horizons. <laughs> okay, my turn next. So we're, we're back in New Zealand with Benson and with Snow. With Benson again. Yes. Um, if you watched last week's video, <laughs> you've seen, you seen Benson. Benson a few times as well. Uh, so this image, it's, it's, we shoot on auto white balance because it's really easy to correct white balance in the editing stage. And if you're shooting in raw, you can correct white balance or adjust it to your heart's content and it's not going to degrade the image in any way. So leaving that white balance adjustment to the editing stage, totally fine. A really good way of adjusting the white balance in one hit, and this is a little bit of a deviation around the rules too, is to instead of using the temperature slider, I'm going to grab the that. I'm going to grab right. the little okay. white balance selector tool. Sneaky. Which may also change tint. Yes. That's <laughs> why I said sneaky. It's very sneaky. So basically, I need to click on an area here that is neutral. It's asking me to pick a neutral target. So I think just the snow here is fairly neutral. I'm going to click here. So that's actually adjusted the image to quite a neutral white balance, which is what we want. Now it is quite dark. You'll notice all the tones are in the mid tones or the dark tones. There's not a lot of bright tones. It's snow. It needs to look bright. So my next port of call is going to be exposure. So I'm going to bring this up quite a long way so that I'm really pushing those tones. If you watch the histogram there, you'll see all those tones being slid up into the lighter area of the histogram. Now, whether I try and get some blacks back or whether I try and get a little bit more detail in the eyes or whether I actually need to bring the highlights down because I've lost a lot of detail mm. in the snow there. What I think I might do is actually bring the highlights down because I want to try yeah. and recover. I've pushed, I've pushed all the tones up so much I'm starting to lose detail in here. So I'm going to bring the highlights down. See how that's starting to bring texture back in the snow especially at the bottom of the image. Yeah. Now we can actually see some texture in there. So I think I'm going to leave it there. So okay. that's gone yeah. from this to this. Yeah. I think the white balance has made pretty, a massive difference. difference. The exposure made a huge difference. And then getting the detail back in the highlights using the highlights slider. Yep. Yep. Okay. Nice. Next. Another shot from our New Zealand workshops. Yep. I remember this day being quite warm light and then these warm tones were more of a kind of yellowy orange color as well as looking at the dog and seeing in the blacks here there's quite a lot of blue mm. so definitely white balance is going to be a slider that I'm going to use here temperature I do think I'd like to reveal a little bit more detail in the dog before I do the white balance though yeah. so I can see what I'm working with once I've lifted those shadows going yes shadows. shadows is where i'm going okay oh so look, let's there's take actually there's some two eyes, eyes in there. <laughs> uh, hiding in this raw file yeah, and look how okay. blue okay and that you can see now goes. down through here yeah it's all blue right as i said bearing in mind that this was quite warm and yellowy this can definitely come up quite a way i think there we go yeah nice i think that's pretty good 
And then my question is, do I try and get some contrast back in the blacks again? I've got a pretty good histogram. <gasps> I know which one I'd use. I know which one I'd use. Do you? Yep. I'm thinking that's what Charlotte would do. Craig <laughs> is thinking that he might dick around with colours a bit. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Okay. Oh, you're going to be all arty. I'm, I gonna, might I might be all arty. I'm yeah. going to cheat and I'm going to go here. Oh. So I'm on. now going down to the hue saturation luminance panel, <laughs> grabbing this little tool here, and I am going to just tweak oh. the hue to make it See, that that's more cheating orangey. Because that's two sliders. But you did it with the but white I balance. I did it with the white balance. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So I'm it's gonna, one adjustment. Yeah, but yes, right? you could definitely get some more blacks into that black fur again and probably yeah, down here is probably the way to do it rather yep. than with the blacks but i think that getting that color in that autumn leaves is what i want to do most in this one for sure so before here after to here oh, three yes. sliders that's fantastic all right so good okay so next yep we have one of your images from mm -hmm. tasmania from star lab workshop yep. from our workshop in 2020 mm -hmm. so oh gosh this is so gorgeous i don't want to mess it up uh, I'm looking at the histogram here. I'm seeing a fair bit of contrast. There's some real uh, blacks and shadows in this image, and there's also quite a bit of a spike up the top, which is all this sky here. So I don't want to blow out detail in the sky. I want to try and get some more light into this area here. This is a great example of an image that you could use masks to great effect mm. with, like yep. lightening and darkening different areas, yep. but we're not allowed to do that. So first off, I'm going to slide these tones up the histogram using that same technique so i'm going to grab the white slider and i'm going to push these tones up here and that sort of helped to increase the contrast i'm then going to bring the shadows up because i really want to get some light into these areas here now the white balance is a little off it's actually naturally quite warm this image yeah it was funny light that day wasn't it it was it really was like storm light, stormy light and yeah weird sunset going mm. on as well so i'm not sure which direction i'm going to go in here i kind of feel like it's a bit too warm so i might actually just take that color temperature down a touch there we go okay see how that actually made the ground look red and it made this look purple yeah because before it was just all way too warm yeah i think the lavender looks like lavender it now. looks like yep. it looks the color of lavender now okay so hang on i'm just going to tweak this one up a little bit more there we go okay so whites shadows and then temperature yeah color temperature cool. and so that is the difference yeah nice so we have a silhouette last up which we were on the beach just the other day doing weren't we Charlotte yeah, with this beautiful dog rider I think with a silhouette the thing that I want to try and do is give the dog separation from the background yeah. and obviously we have a lot of stuff pushed this end that's going to happen because it's a silhouette but we maybe could spread this out a little bit so I'm going to pull the whites up I think Ooh. to get some more light in the sky there make the black of the silhouette pop a little bit more what i might do next is just lift the shadows a bit so i'm thinking uh, through yeah, here it it's quite dark in that land in the background there yep if i lift the shadows uh, i can lighten that back area out and i can even go up as far as i can before i start to reveal any details on the dog Okay, so Around you brought it up there. till you could see the details yeah. and then brought it back again. So, yeah, exactly. So we yeah. see the details. I don't want to see the details. I do want a silhouette. Let's yep. take it back down till those details disappear again. Yep. So if we were allowed to do more editing on this, you would probably push that shadows up maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, and, and then, then you would bring select, the blacks down or yeah. select the subject select and bring the, the exposure down on the subject separately to the, to the rest of the image. I might just... Make it a bit increase warmer. the white balance and make it a bit warmer we had mm. such a warm weird sky didn't we yeah, well, there were bushfires yeah there were yeah so there was a really so strange quite... reddish orangish light at the time so yeah i think that kind of represents the the light yeah quite nicely okay so yeah i think i'd leave it there i would definitely 
pump some saturation and vibrance in. Charlotte's going to laugh. Of course you would, because you pump hey, saturation. Because, hey, I love to use all the sliders, but not that much. Into everything. Um, that's before, that's after. Oh, so it that. really, really helps to make the dog stand out more. Just definitely the biggest impact, I think, is that white slider bringing up that sky more so that the dog stands out more against it. Definitely. Okay, all so right. let's have a look at all of these. So all of these, just with three sliders. Three sliders. In a yeah. couple of cases, a slight cheat. A, a little cheat. <laughs> Using yeah. one adjustment to affect maybe more yeah. than one slider. Yeah, uh, but we'll allow that. So yeah, again, this is a really fun exercise. We love doing this in the membership on our live calls. We actually get our students to submit images that we then take turns doing the three slider challenge yeah. with. It's a great learning opportunity. It's just one of those fun activities that yeah, everyone has um, everyone has a good time with. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been fun playing with each other's images again. So check out everything that's on offer in the membership. And from next week, we'll both be back at home. Well, I'll be back at home. Yep. You'll be here by yourself. <laughs> and back to the regular programming. Yep, we'll catch you then. See ya. See ya.